Doubtless, you will quote to me this proverb, physician, heal yourself. What we have heard you did at Capernaum, do here also in your own country. And he said, Truly, I say to you, no prophet is acceptable in his own country. Good morning. Welcome to a short biblical reflection on the reading from the Gospel according to Luke chapter 4 verses 14 up to 30. It is about the rejection of Jesus at Nazareth. Last time we saw just part of uh, this story because the reading combined the introduction to the Gospel according to Luke, the prologue, and uh, the first part of the story. For this Sunday in the lectionary, the reading combines just the second part. However, I thought that it would be better to make a presentation of the entire story. Therefore, I'm doing it right now here. Looking at the text, at its composition, we can say that there are three parts. The first part combines verses 14 up to 20, after description of Jesus' arrival to Nazareth. Then uh, the focus is on this quotation from uh, the prophet Isaiah. Therefore, we can say that the first part mainly is concerned with the past. The second part, uh, they are, there is double stress on the reaction of people. The eyes of all in the synagogue were fixed on him. And then the saying and statement of Jesus, Today this scripture has been fulfilled in your hearing. And then the second description of the reaction of the people, all spoke well of him and wonder at the, the gracious words which proceed out of his mouth. And now uh, the statement of uh, the people, is not this uh, Joseph's son? And the last, the third part, uh, it refers to the future, in particular starting with this proverbial saying, Physician, heal yourself, what we have heard you did at Capernaum, do here also in your country. I will show later on how it is connected with some other sayings in, during the description of the passion of Jesus. And in particular, this statement, truly I say to you, no prophet is acceptable in his own country. The rejection at Nazareth leads to the rejection of Jesus uh, during uh, passion by the leaders of the nation and the people. And then uh, reference to two uh, prophetical situation at the time of uh, Elijah, at the time of Elisha, uh, the grace which uh, the uh, people from pagan nations received. One uh, that uh, Elijah went out uh, beyond the borders of Israel, uh, why uh, Elisha, uh, he accepted uh, a visitor uh, which came uh, from the foreign country. In both situations, uh, those uh, people coming from pagan nations receive grace. And therefore, it already prefigures that the grace now will be given also in future, in particular, that uh, after the resurrection, Jesus commands the disciples to go to the ends of the world to proclaim to all the nations. So let, let us now see how uh, it is connected uh, the rejection of Jesus at Nazareth with the rejection of Jesus during the Passion, in particular connecting this proverbial saying, Physician, heal yourself. What we have heard you did at Capernaum, do here also in your own country, recalls the triple uh, statement in the description of the Passion. Firstly, uh, scoffed by the leaders who were saying, He saved others. Let him save himself if he is the Messiah of God, his chosen one. Then mocked by the soldiers, who were saying, if you are the king of the Jews, save yourself. And finally, uh, we have also uh, this uh, statement by one of the criminals. Are you not the Messiah? Save yourself 
and us. So now quoted this uh, triple uh, statements uh, during the Passion rejection of Jesus confirms us this view that we can say that we have uh, the three moments. The first part is concerned with the past. The second part is concerned with the uh, present time because Jesus says today is today also at this moment of proclamation. And the third part refers to the future. So the focus is on today, today which is connected with the past, what happened, and also today which links with what will happen in the future. Therefore, uh, also I highlighted uh, firstly starting with those uh, statements concerning reaction of the people. Uh, in verse 15, he was teaching in the synagogues and was praised by all. Then the two which already I quoted from the central part, the eyes of all in the synagogue were fixed on him. All spoke well of him and wonder at the gracious words which uh, proceed out of his mouth. And the last reaction is the opposite, is the negative. All in the synagogue were filled with wrath. It is in verse 28. Last time I show you that the statement recovery of the sight to the blind, uh, it occupies the central place uh, in the quotation from the prophet Isaiah and it was linked also to the statement of Jesus. Today the scripture has been fulfilled in your hearing because we have two complementary concepts, sight and hearing. You accept and you see uh, and you can read the uh, word of God if you have a good vision, you have this ability to see as well also you accept the, the word of God uh, through hearing then the statement of people is this not the son uh, of joseph leads to also crucial statement in verse 24 that we could also say occupies uh, uh, a central part also of importance in the way as it is formulated no prophet is acceptable in his own country firstly that the word son and country in Greek they are connected uh, they are coming from the same semantic uh, field because uh, the word uh, translated here as country really refers to uh, we, we could say paternity it means what belongs uh, inheritance uh, which is uh, handed over by the father the son can inherit inherit the inheritance of the father we could therefore say with following more uh, german term you could say fatherland uh, so or somebody somebody also could play translate it you in your home place <clears throat> this reference to the triple uh, statement uh, during the passion confirms us that the uh, last part is oriented to the future. It, it already prefigures the passion of Jesus. Rejection at Nazareth leads to the total, complete rejection during the passion. Why the first part, because has this focus on the quotation from Isaiah, is uh, linked to the past. And the central part occupies uh, the present time. This double statement, in particular the word that Jesus is also is using today, is today of proclamation and today when also the reaction and uh, the doubt, the re rejection begins because they question, is not this Joseph's son? Uh, and the word son in this question is linked to the word country in the statement of Jesus, in particular in Greek, because they are words that are coming from the same semantic field. The word country uh, could be translated more literally following German term fatherland, or as some translate it, 
home country because it's composed from two elements. There is word father and what belongs to the father. So this is a statement of the inheritance. And so the one who uh, can inherit, so who is truly the son of the father, now is not accepted in his own country. Own people uh, do not see him as the one who is coming in the name of the Father. Why the central statement in the quotation from the prophet Isaiah, recovery of sight to the blind, could be also connected with the closing part of uh, the gospel, in particular the situation when those disciples were returning to Emmaus and then after meeting Jesus and uh, after uh, breaking the bread, uh, they recognized him making this statement. We read it in Luke 24, 32. Were not our hearts burning within us while he was talking to us on the road, while he was opening the scripture to us? And finally, already I made reference to the translation of uh, this word, which occurs twice with the meaning acceptable. On one hand, in the quotation of Isaiah, uh, in verse 19, we have uh, the Lord who is proclaiming uh, the year of acceptance by the Lord. So the Lord wants to accept the sinners. The Lord wants to accept all. Why in verse 24, uh, the Lord himself is not accepted by his own. Therefore, we can uh, quote here uh, also from now from the gospel according to John. The word came to his own, but his own uh, did not accept him. I would like to wish you a nice day, a nice reflection on this reading.